Hey guys, welcome back. Chris and Randy here with Marksman Shooting Sports and WeBuyGuns.com in Westfield, Indiana with another unboxing video for you. Today we got in a bunch of stuff, so let's go ahead and dive into it now. First up, we have one from a customer in Tennessee. Thank you for sending that to us. Let's see what's in the box. All right. Oh, fly, fly. Looks like a flambeau. Let you go until you buy a flambeau. Put a human body in that box. I'll keep this one. Come here, John. <laughs> All right, what do we get here? Looks like we have a Howa 1500. See, safe off. Fold open. Chamber clear. I don't know if this is a factory Cerakote. I can't tell. I don't think, eh, it might be. No, no it, it matches couldn't be scope. because it matches the scope. Yeah. yeah, good call. Custom. Custom, but it was a good job. Uh, okay, the Howa 1500, really good bullet action rifles, arrival things like the Remington 700, the Savage model, uh, the 110 line, I guess yeah. as you put it in there. Really good bolt action rifle. It's not really a whole lot to say about it, but if you're looking into getting into a new hunting rifle, the Howa 1500, they are not super expensive. Uh, so kind of affordable for what they are. This one has a Harris style bipod and the scope is made by Nico. Not sure I've heard of them, but just kind of a cool setup. Uh, not much else really to say about it. Oh, I'm oscillating. Cool. 308. 308. Yeah, there you go. And two magazines. Threaded barrel. So what do you think about the condition of this one? Well, since it has been snake scale Cerakoted, um, I can look at the condition of that finish and I would, for what it is, I would say excellent. I mean, it looks good. And you know what's weird too, is that the markings are actually over the Cerakote. Yeah, I don't know. So how maybe they this did is that. factory. They really are. All the markings are oh, yeah. the Cerakote. So it could have been. And I, then this it may just have, blends to the rifle. I think it is, Chris. Yeah, this actually may have been sold as a set and it was all Cerakoted. But this was Cerakoted before the manufacturer's markings were even put on it. Hmm. Same, not with the Howa though. Uh, maybe, I don't know. Hard, kind of hard, hard to say. say. I don't know if this is in their catalog or not or if this was custom. So we'll figure it out. Or I'm sure somebody watching can figure it out. Or we will just look it up. So was there paperwork in there? Yes. Okay. So what's... Uh, I don't recall them, obviously, in the picture. I could tell it was terracoded. We'll look it up. We'll let you know. We'll put some little notation or something. So, anyway, that'll start us off. A really nice Howl of 1500. All right, guys. Next up, we have one from a customer in Connecticut. So, thank you so much for selling this one to us. Oh, memory foam. I'm going to make a pillow out of that. Paper. I hope there's paperwork in there. Let's see. All right. So, it looks like we have an ATI. Okay. Yeah, this is one of those uh, straight pool dealies. Have you seen one of those toggle? It's like, it's like a toggle bolt. I have not. It's pretty cool. Uh, 17 HMR manufactured in Austria. We've had one of these in here before. I don't know too much about the actual manufacturer of it, but uh, being a 17 HMR, it's it's a cool sort of straight pull back bolt action. So unlike the Swiss straight pulls where the entire bolt's coming out the back, this is actually toggled and breaks on a joint right here and actually makes for very strong uh, and positive lockup. So really cool, imported by ETI, manufactured by ISSC SPA in Austria. Uh, interesting firearm. Um, not much else really to say about it other than the unique uh, feeding system does have a detachable box magazine, nice wood stock and blue finish, kind of a cool just uh, sporting rifle, but what do you think about the condition of that one? I have seen excellent condition, Chris. I would say the same, uh, picking it up and handling it, it looked like it was like new in box. A uh, customer did rate it at very good, so obviously we uh, we definitely uh, are in a, a, a accord there. So anyway, very cool rifle, so we will move on to the next one. Hey Chris, next we have one up from a customer in Illinois. Thank you for sending this in. Let's see what we got. Wait.
Yeah. Cool. Uh, Kalishnikov USA. I guess start here. Kalishnikov USA. This is, I don't know what they model this. It's a 762 by 39. They call this the KR103. Basically a commercial version of the AK-103 Russian pattern, which has the AK-74 style muzzle brake and the side folding. Always trips me up out of these sling over here. It's got to loosen it up, I guess. All right, uh, side folding, polymer stock. Uh, again, very reminiscent of the AK-103 pattern. Now, Kalishnikov USA is not to be confused with Kalishnikov Concern. They are, uh, they are of no relations. The actual parent company is R, what is it? RWC. RWC, Russian Weapons Company. Uh, and so that is the owner of the Kalishnikov USA uh, rifles. It is actually based out of Florida. Now there's been importation sanctions on actual Russian AKs, which is why companies like these were founded. But the Kalishnikov USA rifles, people actually generally really like them. I know that there are nine millimeter AK pattern. What is that? The KP9, if I'm not mistaken. That's oh, right. Uh, that has actually been one of their most popular things that they have brought out to the market. So very cool rifle. What do you think about the condition of that one? Um, I would say very good condition, Chris. Yeah, I, would I agree mean the with high that. end of very good product. Yeah, I agree with that. What did the customer say? Uh, no paperwork. We got a. Uh, is that it? That's uh, no. owner's manual. No paperwork in here, so I don't know what the customer said, but anyway, I'm sure it's close to this. I know that this person we bought many things from before. So, thanks for that one. And what do we have there, Randy? How you doing? Oh, pretty good. Area. Good. Any questions? Let us know. I got a question. All right, sorry about that. We had a customer come in, so we had to cut the camera. Randy, what do we have here in this box? All right, a Beretta. EPX, nine millimeter. Um. This one, if I remember, yeah. This one has the optics plate on it, so it's a little better than a newer one. I can't remember specifically the model. I'm not too well versed on the APX series. To be perfectly honest, they haven't actually done too well as sellers since they came out. I remember when they hit the market about three or four years ago, they were pretty cool. Uh, a little bit of a departure in the polymer hang, uh, frame handgun line from their Storm series, a little bit more traditional lines. But they never really did that well. Um, and I think when they first hit the market, they were in the 500 range and now new, I'm seeing them on sale, you know, in the, the below 400. So just not as popular, but this is a newer version of that with the optics plate on it. Not much else really to say about it, unless you want to add anything about it. No, I think that's pretty good, Chris. What do you think about the condition on that one? Honestly, I don't see a mark on it other than just a little wear on top of the barrel, which can be on a new gun. So I would say excellent condition. Yeah, I would agree with that. Again, we don't have the paperwork from the customer in front of us, so I assume he's probably close to that. So uh, anyway, thank you very much to our customer. And where do these come from? Illinois? Tennessee. Illinois. They came from Illinois. I remember, I know this customer. He sent us a lot of things. So big thank you again to you, sir. And uh, we will move on to the next ones. Next up is one from a customer in Pennsylvania. Thanks for sending that in. Let's see what's in the box. So, first up, we have what appears to be a Shadow Systems. Uh, we've had several of these guys come in, really nice set of magazines. We've Ooh. had several of these guys come in here over the past uh, several years. Shadow Systems is essentially, if you want to call it anything else, it's a very upgraded and modified Glock handgun, really much comes off of that design. And that concept, although not a part of Glock, and they did not start as Glock frames, this is their own thing, but very much modeled after the Glock, has the same aesthetics, feel, and everything. Uh, this is the Elite version. The Elite version is marked by having these lightning cuts in the slide, a little bit more uh, attention paid to detail on the slide. You have top slide serrations, front and back as well. The combat is more their base level. This is the DR920. Um, they make the CR920, the MR920, so different sizes again, like the Glock 26 or the 19 or the 17. This is more their full size frame. This one comes standard with a, with a threaded barrel. They make them in either this bronze or all black. Has nice day and night sights with optics plate, so really nice, full, fully loaded with excellent triggers too. 
and they are compatible with Glock magazines, although these are not Glock OEM mags new out of the box. So very cool pistols, a little bit more than what you're gonna pay for a Glock, but for the little bit more that you're paying, you get a lot of upgrades. So if you like Glock handguns or like the idea of Glock handguns, that's why these shadow systems have really uh, become incredibly popular pistols. What do you think about the condition of that one, Randy? Um, again, Chris, I would say excellent condition. Yeah, I would go with that as well. It looks like new, not even anywhere on top of the barrel. So very good. Uh, that is what the customer said, so we are good with that. Let's move on to the next one. So next up we have what looks like a Canic. This is a... It's a big Medi. here. Medi. Kind of off of the SFX series. Medi. Yes. Yeah, SFX. SFX. So this would be the more competition ready segment of the Canic line. We've talked about Canic pistols in the last unboxing video. We got one that was more their base. These are more of their upgraded model. Optics plate, lightning cuts, longer barrel profile, probably four and a half to five inches. Uh, really nice upgraded trigger. And it comes with a whole bunch of stuff in the box. Your optics plates are two magazines, your speed loader, your holster, a looks like a flared flare, magazine, magazine well. well. So really cool for what you're getting. Uh, new, they're great price, uh, you know, great priced handgun and used, you know, in good condition. Really good sort of starting entry level target or competition handgun. Uh, the Medi version hit the market, I want to say maybe a year to two ago. The SFX has been out for two or three years, maybe a little bit longer than that. But again, for the money, really, really nice handguns. We see these all the time. You guys have seen them in the unboxing videos. What do you think about the condition of that one? I would say excellent condition, Chris. I would agree with that, and that is also what the customer said. So we are good with those. Thank you again to our customer in Pennsylvania for these. We will move on to the next one. Next up, we have one from a customer in Michigan. Chris, let's see what's in here. Oh, they, they covered the branding. That was smart. So this is a Ruger 22 Charger. Yeah, if I remember how to get the magazine out. Huh? Yeah, very popular Ruger. The original ones came out with the wood stocks and then the wooden laminate stocks, uh, and then went to the polymer stocks uh, with the addition of the threaded barrel. Uh, they all come with the rail typically installed. They come with a bipod and a BX-15 mag. What does that one have? That is a an adapter for the adapter yeah, for adapter goes over the, uh, the Paris style sling mounting point. So these are handy. They're fun to shoot. I had one for a while. Uh, you need a long eye relief scope uh, to actually shoot them properly. But they're a lot of fun at the range. Uh, not terribly practical other than that. You can't actually hold it up and shoot. It's not so heavy as you can't. Uh, so this is a pistol type. Uh, just to or, or you bench rest it with your bipod and get yeah. behind it. Um, effectively, what the charger is, it is a Ruger 1022 uh, receiver uh, with a shortened pistol length barrel and it's stock assembly. Now, they've made these in the takedown configuration. Interestingly enough, if you wanted to SBR one, you could get the full length rifle SBR, or not SBR, the takedown. You could get the Ruger char Charger takedown and you could mix and match and reconfigure them. Back when braces were not under the microscope, uh, you could get braces on these too so that you could actually use them that way as well. Uh, but they make good SBR uh, hosts or just a good Bench 22 rifle taking all of the 1022 magazines because it is effectively a 1022 pistol. So uh, anyway, what do you think about the condition of that one? Do we not have paperwork here either? Uh, I didn't see any, Chris. Okay. I would call this one excellent, Chris. I would agree with that. It looks like it's not really been used. Um, so yeah, I would totally go along with that. I would say excellent. Still got the brand stickers even on the bottom. Uh, paperwork is not in the box, so I cannot confirm what the customer has said. Uh, but we will look that up on the computer. Um, but, you know, if they said anything at all, we would be good <laughs> because it looks excellent. So anyway, guys, that'll be that one. We will move on, I think, to the last one. All right, and the last one we have here comes from a customer in Florida. All right, last 
but not least, we have a CZ75B. Now, we've had plenty of these CZ75s on the channel before, both in unboxing videos and used guns of the week videos. CZ75 would come out of the Czech Republic in about 1975. One of the most notable features about this is the slide does fit inside the frame, so you have a very low bore access and a very short slide profile. Not giving a whole lot to grip, grip onto from the slide perspective, but if you've never shot one of these, the recoil impulse on them is awesome. Really low muzzle flip, and that's part of what makes these super popular. These have been adopted and used by many different countries for their police and military forces. Although when it first came out, uh, Czech Republic, or Czechoslovakia, I should say, at the time, uh, was still using the CZ-82s, uh, did not actually transition over to these until like later in the 90s. They started using them for police use and things like that. Here in the United States, there is a tremendous following on the CZ pistols. Excellent handguns. I love these handguns, so I can't say enough good things about them. Uh, what do you think about the condition on that? Just a, it's a minor, uh, minor mark on the slide serration there. It might actually clean off. Uh, just a little bit of wear on the barrel, but I would definitely say, um, actually, holding it out here at arm's length, uh, I don't see anything, Chris. I would say excellent. Condition. Yeah, I would agree with that. Um, you know, those marks maybe like high, high, high end of very good. The ex solid excellence, fine too. A customer did say excellent, so we're totally fine. Really good condition uh, firearms in here today. Uh, so that is it for that one. So that's it for that one on the unboxing. All right, guys, in answer to our question from the beginning of this video, uh, John does fit in the box. So here's John, for those of you wondering. Uh, so for the sake of science, the question has been answered. Thank you all for watching. This is Chris, Randy, and John. We will see you next time. Some say love is a river that me too. Get down in here and, uh, <laughs> Sean, we need you to get in this box. <laughs> you mess with the bull, son, you're gonna get the horns. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sam C. John <laughs> can fit in a big box. <laughs> can fit in a big box. And now, an important message. Oh, damn it. One of these days I'm gonna make that shot. <laughs> A human does fit inside this box. This is John. Uh, <laughs> John, you broke it. You broke the box. Broke the box. <laughs> How am I supposed to put people in it now?